money. So I'm going to give you guys a little tip while I'm putting my slick trick broadheads on here. When it comes to shooting your bow at ranges in between your pins. So a target that's 28 yards away, you got a 20 yard pin and you have a 30 yard pin. The tip is simple, know your equipment. And y'all probably heard that before. But from shooting this bow and practicing at those in-between ranges, I know that for me, with my setup and with this bow, at 28 yards, I need to use my 30 yard pin. With this bow, if it is 24 yard, between 20 and 24 yards, for example, I know that that zero to four range, I'm using the lesser pin, that I'm going to go off of my 20 yard pin. 25 and 26 yards, very specific, 25, 26 yards, I'm gonna split the difference between my 20 and my 30. 27 to 30 yards, I'm gonna use my 30 yard pin. And you have to do that and figure that out for each, in between each pin. That's not cold and, and, and hard and fast for this bow or any bow. For example, between my 40 and my 50, 40 to 43, I use my 40 yard pin. 44, 45, 46, I split the difference. And 47 to 50, I use my 50 yard pin. Again, that's different than what I just told you guys for the 20 yard pin. So the only way you figure that out is by shooting your bow and either writing it down or memorizing it like I did. Because I know when I range a target exactly where I need to split the difference if it's anywhere under 60 yards. Over 60 yards with the sight I have, I can put my sight tape on the specific yardage that I'm shooting. But as long as it's under 60, I have to know exactly how my bow is gonna perform at what stage in flight my arrow is in whenever I shoot. That way I know how to split my pins for those off yardages like what we just did.